President Obama is taking some heat, especially on Fox, for these comments about how terrorism should be covered. The media needs to help in this. I mean, I, I, I just want to say it. But one of the things that has to happen is, is how we report on this uh, has to uh, maintain perspective uh, and uh, not you know, empower in any way uh, these terrorist organizations uh, or uh, elevate them uh, in, in ways that uh, make it easier for them to recruit or make them stronger. So therefore we should just play down these stories. I mean, really, come on. Ay, what do you say? He He's at the bottom of the barrel. And President Obama now sounding more like a community organizer than a commander in chief as he tries to defend his approach by blaming the media for the disastrous results of his policies. Mr. Obama tried to blame the media for empowering the Islamic State. Matt, do you think President Obama was blaming the media or saying the media should play down the coverage of terror attacks? Not at all. I think it's a, an overreaction and twisting what he said, or at least what it sounded like he said to me. First of all, the media has been known to stoke fear. I mean, if, if, I, if all I did was watch the news, I wouldn't leave the house. <laughs> they also glamorize occasionally villains. And we saw that with the Boston bomber on the cover of the Rolling Stone. So as long as Obama is not ordering the media, but if he's encouraging them to be uh, responsible, what's wrong with that? Well, a White House official told me that, of course, news organizations are going to make their own judgments, but the president was commenting on whether people are fearful of, another pre of terrorist attack, and it's no secret the administration feels like the press went way overboard and haywire over a few cases of Ebola. So what's your take? Uh, I, I think our job is to cover events truthfully, fairly, and accurately. Nothing more. You can't listen to a president tell you to, to alter or shape your coverage in order to have some other kind of outcome. Because our role is to report the news as we see it. And obviously, the news has been a, focused on terrorism. It's been focused on his foreign policy. And it's been unflattering for him. And I think that's why he's coming out now talking to the media about changing the coverage. Well, perhaps. But also, when there are days and days of coverage about, you know, is there going to be an attack over Thanksgiving weekend, yeah. ISIS threats about New York and Washington, no credible evidence, say the authorities. Would there have been the same conservative reaction if George W. Bush had asked the media not to scare people about terror or to maintain perspective about the ups and downs of the Iraq war? Or the color coding system that we used to have. Yeah, right? sure. I mean, think about we those days. Have, yeah. No, look, I think what he's reminding everybody in the media is that the goal of terror is to scare people and to leverage the fear to make it to make a single attack in Paris even more consequential all throughout the world and to have perspective I think this is fair game I think he's just reminding everybody that we have to make sure that we understand you know look we've had three times as many Americans killed this year due to mass shootings as died in the Paris attacks you know a few weeks ago and so making sure that we understand the, the relative strength of the threat and to not exaggerate to scare people to get ratings right is a fair I think that's a responsible thing that the president did. Well, even if there had been no presidential comments, we debate this in the media all the time. How often do we trumpet uh, warnings from terrorists that may have no basis in fact and all of that and what volume do we use? Thank yeah. you all for being here. Simon sure. Rosenberg, Susan Show, and Matt Lewis. Up next, James Rosen on whether the media's coverage of the Paris attacks differs from the atmosphere during the Bush-Cheney administration and later. If even the snarky website Gawker is getting into campaign coverage, does that mean gossip is over?